we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 209. All right, here we are. I hope you can see me. I'm in a wiggle, Mr. Overachiever here. I'm in the broom corn so that you can kind of get an idea of how tall this stuff truly is and we wanted to give you an update because the last time we were we were here it was only knee high if at best and now it has just grown and the tops are tasseled and that's what we're going to be making our brooms and our our um, different sweeping apparatuses out of and and I'm being careful not to step on the watermelons that are growing here. And we have learned as well that you can make syrup out of the sorghum because this is broom corn sorghum, also noted it noted, um, also called Milo, which we just learned yesterday. But you can make sorghum syrup out of the stalks in a similar fashion that you take sugar cane stalks and make them into. Um, sugar and it, it's a molasses -y type sweet um, syrup that we're hoping to try to do as well. So anywho, yeah, so that's our brood corn and it's doing well. So here we are back in the studio out from the corn, the sorghum, the milo. <laughs> I'm, somebody Silent. said, uh, silent, yeah, somebody said on the Waltons and the Beverly Hillbillies, they always had sorghum syrup mm. on their pancakes. So we got to looking into it and um, hopefully if you Chris remember. Chris cook that up. No, no, no. If you remember Dick Welly, we did an interview with Dick Welly, which is Mariella's um, hubby. And he is the, uh, he was tapping all the trees around Nome and whatnot. The box elder syrup, which was amazing. And what other kind of, it was maple, right? Mm -hmm. Maple trees in which the Which is a very elder. interesting story. So you should look it up. Yeah. I'll post it up there. Right here. Yep. Anywho, um, so we're hoping that he is going to uh, latch onto this and um, do this. Because it we sounds really cool. We haven't asked him. He knows nothing of this yet. Uh, unless Mariella has... Informed. informed him. We'll find that out. Yeah. And the sheepies, you were busy last night. Yeah. So last night we ran all of the yearlings through and we checked their eyes for worms, and, um, which sounds funny if you don't explain it in case you haven't been watching, but you check their inner eyelid and, and you check the color to make sure that uh, they don't have anemia because the worms are affecting them. So mm -hmm. they were all I think we only had to treat like three or four. So That's awesome. How many are over there? Good. Approximately. hundred. Nice. Maybe. Nice. And we vaccinated the yearling ewes. For, they're giving them, giving them their breeding shots. So they're all ready. Oh. They'll get one more dose before breeding. So when does breathing? Breathing. Breeding. When is that uh, We start like in November. November. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we've got... We've got a lot of things planned for next spring. Teresa and I will be doing some traveling, which we'll tell you more about um, on another YouTube. But yeah, well, good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then a little update on your shingles. How's that going? It's going much better. I finished my horse pills. I was on these horse, these giant... So you itch while you pills. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, be fine. I still feel like I have broom corn stuff all over me. Um, um, yeah, and... And they made me so sleepy and out of it. And just, I just feel so much better. My skin still feels like I have a terrible, terrible sunburn. And it does still itch and whatnot. But, but it's so much better. So Good. much better. And you, you suffered no major ill effects from shingle shot number one. No, I got a headache. But yeah. I get a headache from the simplest things. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 And then, oh my goodness, I wish I could 
rattle off some names. We had a woman's retreat here. That it was a self. It was um, one that that someone just organized. It wasn't which is something the, new kind of that, yeah that Kristen has put together mm -hmm. uh, where you can schedule. You just talk to her and you pick from mm -hmm. all of these different activities like that a la carte like to do mm -hmm. and put them together. Uh, and you can do as many as you can fit in. Yeah. In so they the, had, what did they, had six book, six rooms booked, I believe. And, and ladies, there was a couple, um, mother and daughter duos that were here. And then the rest they were all single. So they, they all knew each other. Yep. Friends. And, yep. but they, and they were from all over the place. Like, yes, like ways away. Some were from Fargo, Minneapolis area and. Yeah. So back and so they, mm -hmm. they felt it and they, well, they felt it and they felt it. Yeah, they felt they, it. They felt it. They needle felt it and mm -hmm. wet felted. Because mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, job. and those were two options. And the one option being they all pur purchased a kit in the store. And mm -hmm. then Teresa helped them for 15 I did, minutes, I got them 30 started. minutes. Got them started. And yep. Um, then just, checked back in with them. and Just letting them know, you know, all the little tips mm -hmm. that Basics I could get and, to get them going. Mm -hmm. And then I checked back in a couple times, actually. And mm -hmm. um, just to see how they were doing and if they had questions. And they were all working on different things. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Doing, because everybody always questions, can I do this with the kit? And they like they don't believe that they can, but yeah. you really can. Yes. I didn't have yes. to help them very much and yeah. they did fine. Yeah, there was one. Oh, I have a picture of it. Can we share this picture of this one? This gal did this llama. She never felt it before. She made the most perfect llama. She got she nailed everything, the ears, the face. It was so, so cute. And then she went on to to do a little blanket for its back. A little necklace. And a little necklace. Oh, it yeah, was, it was just it was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty yeah, they cool. All, they all made really cute things. I took a few pictures. Mm -hmm. And then they, they made. yep. And well, then... they weren't in the room. <laughs> and so, yeah, they really, they really all did a very, very good job. They all turned out beautifully. And then with us, where with me, which is the first time that I have done this particular, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work. Um, we did a, well, a wet felting um, project that that they did first on a tray and 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 then I finished the felting pro process in the felting machine so I did not know how well I was going to be able to transfer from the tray into the felting machine and it was just <laughs> slipped right out effortless it worked beautifully nice. yeah so so that was really cool and then um some of the gals the next the following morning they stamped it into coasters and mm -hmm. and fun things like that so they that was super fun. They all had so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and for Teresa and I, this was the first time that we did these couple little a la carte um, projects and mm -hmm. worked well. Worked and we're very just getting well. started with them because mm -hmm. we have more ideas mm -hmm. for a variety yeah. of things. So, you, you know, so folks can, you know, set their own, set their own pace, set their own um, likes and dislikes and, and just make a wonderful friends retreat. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, and then we also had a sewing retreat here. Well, a couple gals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple uh, um, friends came mm -hmm. and they were sewing bags uh, for our store and Super cute. Um, working on a quilt and things. But mm -hmm. they, had, they had a lot of fun too and didn't want to leave. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they worked for how many? They were here, it was like almost two whole days. Mm -hmm. that they sewed and they got a lot done mm -hmm. yep because they didn't have to cook and yeah and just they just hung out and nothing a, was taking such, them away from their projects had such a good time and they got so much done yeah oh and tell mm -hmm. them about the, the iron the this iron, is the coolest wish, thing is wish, this a new iron i don't know how old it is okay. i but i I've should have got a these. video of it because um so if you you pick it up it's standing up on its little legs you pick it up and the legs go up inside of it and then you iron away and then you set it down on the ironing board and the legs come out and it stands up on its own that's cool mm -hmm. that is cool really cool yeah. really really cool mm -hmm. yep if, if i ironed a lot I yeah need then i iron zero maybe if i where are you going i'm gonna go get our corma wool samplers just keep talking mm -hmm. <sighs> I there's often just me. Have you realized that lately? Well, I'm here. Okay, all right. I'm here. I thought you had to go downstairs. No, they're right here. I see them. That's that's what made me. Oh, okay. 
made me think about it. So here we go. <laughs> So we used to do product features every mm -hmm. YouTube and then we, I don't know, I guess sometimes the whole page get, goes wonky. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm blaming that. Remember when it all would be double, triple spaced and we couldn't get it not to be? Yes. Because <laughs> we just fill in every week so we don't forget things. Mm -hmm. And somehow we took the product feature off and forgot all about it. for. Yeah. Forever. So it's back. <laughs> yes. So what we have is uh, Cormel Wool Samplers, mm -hmm. a new product. And why are they Cormel Wool rather than Your Amazing Romney? So a lot of people with wet felting um, prefer Cormel. We do too. Mm -hmm. uh, Cormel, or, Cormel or Merino. Or uh, a Merino grade wool. Yeah, so yeah. fine. Uh, it just, uh, wet felt's better. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, others like to, like if you're doing the painting with wool, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like to use a finer wool for that just to get mm -hmm. that wispy, mm -hmm. wispy look that you can get with, with a finer fiber. Mm -hmm. uh, so we decided we would, since we raised some cormos, mm -hmm. that we would uh, do little yep. different uh, kits with those. Yeah, offer up some little samplers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's our, super cool. our newest. Yeah. Yeah, wow. and we're going to use that caramel wool in just a, a little bit to do a project which mm -hmm. we've never done before. So here we go again. <laughs> so bear with Hopefully us. Hopefully we succeed. If and then, we don't succeed, it probably won't be following us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're, this, this, this is the start. We're going to offer some classes on this because this, this is, this will be fun mm -hmm. if it works out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll work. It'll work good. It probably won't be perfect. Only it's God first. is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's our first yep. try at mm -hmm. it. Uh, so our, we had one question. You guys are so hardworking and motivating and have great attitudes. Need to stop and really see your progress of how far you've come. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need an appreciation party for yourselves. Spa day for the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Glad Fred, dogs, sheep, and others had no adventures this week. Kudos to Helen fixing the felter and Steve is away or gone. So last week we referred yeah. to Steve isn't here, so Helen had to fix the felter. Mm -hmm. And we also had, we just shared some of our struggles. Yep. Yep. And also, um, um, Steve, my husband is out, um, in, in Oregon and, and he, he will be back when, when this right. airs. Yeah. When this airs. So anyway, um, but, um, he, he's out there, um, working with Ron, our, uh, Ron Anderson, who we've talked about some, and we're hoping to have some neat videos of, of Ron's of, of his adventures. Yeah, of, of what, what's been going on out there. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, but okay, and then we I have to mention this because we did not get video footage on this, but a day ago we broke the the blue carter and I was struggling away at it, going, Oh my goodness, knowing how how long this is going to take me to fix it. And Helen comes over and she's like, what do we need to do? And I go, well, we need to get this fiber out here because I jammed it my own fault. I did. And she goes, well, can you just turn that backwards? I said, no, we can't turn it backwards because you see it's all hooked together. And she goes, well, we'll just take this all apart. And it's exactly what we did. It, it, we took pictures of how it goes back together and she took it all apart, rolled the fiber out of there and wham, back in business. And so then I talked to my husband that evening. He's like, now, wait a second. She can fix the felter. She fixed the carter. What do you need me for? <laughs> so, yeah. So kudos to Helen. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, he should have got videos. See, I know. When I'm I not know. here, they <laughs> fail at the videos. We fail. Ugh. Yes. Oof -da. Anywho. So last week's question was... Uh, what is our mill cat's name? Mm -hmm. And Marcy Wickery is the winner. Congratulations. She guessed Willow, yeah. which is correct. Yes. And hopefully, you have pictures of Willow, right? I do. Okay, so they'll I, be. I think that Willow was the cover of a Puffy. YouTube a while back. Oh, but... yes, yes. She likes mm -hmm. to, to lay in the wool, in the drying wool, in the felted wool, in the wool roving. <laughs> she just likes to. Cuddle right she in has there. one spot that she likes to touch. She does, so, and yeah. waits for Bob. Bob's her favorite. Bob's mm -hmm. her chosen, her chosen one now. So, so next mm -hmm. week's question is: What are Chris and Teresa's individual areas of expertise in their business? 
Do mm -hmm. you know? Do you know what we do? Yeah. Or can you guess? And, you know, really no wrong or right answer here. Um, if you comment on this question, you will be put in the hat for the prize. So we're just kind of curious. Mm -hmm. right. And mm -hmm. I think it's pretty easy. But I mean, but we have different areas, too, other yeah. than obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd, we'd like to hear what you think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and then we're gonna hopefully work on these little this new project. This new project, we'll yes. But we should them. probably. Um, I know, but we have to introduce. Oh it. yeah. Okay. So here it is. We'll call it Mitten Project One Hundred and One. Hopefully, not a fail. <laughs>
so here we are, and I have made an oven mitt. And I cheated a little bit and threw mine in the felting machine for a little bit. Yes. And? And I did this. <laughs> So we, we each made one and it yep. kind of was screwed up. Yep. Was that your first one? This is my um, second one? Third one. <laughs> and because the first one, I, we didn't wrap enough around mm -hmm. the form. Yep. And so we got holes. Yep. We didn't, and we didn't felt it enough before we took it off of the. That, that was my first two. Yes, Mistakes, and yeah. that was my first one too. And then mm -hmm. the second one went a little better. Mm -hmm. And so mine turned out pretty good. I felted it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Just kept going and it's formed mm -hmm. to my hand, except when we used roving, if, you, if, if it wasn't spread out enough, uh, it didn't mm -hmm. felt very well. So I have this little flapper that wouldn't felt ever. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. needle felt that onto the thumb. Mm -hmm. But the rest of it felt it very well to my hand. It just took a very long time. And what we have learned is that we, we would use the cloud rather than roving to do a, pro a project like this. And if you ha had to use roving, you would just spread it out way more. Yeah, open it up. And thin layers. Yep, thin layers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And felt it very, very good before you remove it from your form. form. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it was fun. Wow.